Welcome to Mark Reed 757. This is week five of our part two journey to health collab. Hey, look at some of my fellow collaborators. They're awesome, fantastic. They really keep me going, and I know they would help you keep going as well. Uh, they're right down in my description. Anyway, uh, this week's question is How have you bounced back from setbacks? Sometimes not so good. You know, uh, there's been some setbacks that I just don't come back from. I mean, until like months, maybe even a year later. There's other setbacks. Maybe I go uh, a little bit. In fact, I've been in kind of a setback lately. And it's my own doing. I haven't been doing what I did previously. And... It's really screwing with me. I mean, I'm, I'm doing the exercise. I'm getting plenty of exercise. And I've been here before where I've done the exercise, but just are not eating right. And they always do say, and I do feel this is really true, they always say 80% diet, of meaning what you eat, not just going on a diet, because I look at dieting as what you eat. 20% um, exercise. That's what makes a good lifestyle change and that's what makes a healthy lifestyle well I almost believe it's 90% of what you eat because if you ate really good you almost didn't even have to worry about exercise but exercise would just help you know speed along the process slightly not not as much as if you ate properly then there's uh, that $20 I wanted to tell you about the $20 shop and I Kind of screwed up there too. I had my kids with me and I, I meant to separate the bills and I kind of put all our stuff together. I, and I figured, you know what? It's almost the end of the month. I'll wait till the end of the month. I'm going to take everything I have currently in the house and I'll eat the rest of that because I have a decent amount of food and I didn't spend that much for what I had. I mean, it might not even reach 20 bucks. I was able to find uh, chicken thighs for like under $4, and there was 10 of them. I deboned them. I used the bones for uh, bone broth because I want to drink some of that. And the chicken, I put in the pan and cooked it and everything. And I'll be doing different stuff with that where I can take maybe two pieces of them chicken thighs and eat it with like broccoli or whatever. I bought some broccoli, green beans, Brussels sprouts. I got cabbage, uh, dried beans, rice. Got a lot of different, and carrots, I guess. Different variety, but I'm going to have to figure out the 20, because I do want to do the keep around $20 a week, but I got to figure out how I'm going to do it, and I'll, I'll start it next month for sure. Anyway, the weight loss progress, because um, I had to try to get down to 335 at my work scale and that's what I'm weighing in on Friday well today's Wednesday I got one whole other day to go and I didn't weigh myself at that scale but I've been weighing myself at home and at home it says 339 but usually at home it's like a three pound difference which if I add that three pounds it'd be 342 and that means I'm down seven pounds and I still have about seven pounds to go that's going to be tricky, <laughs> uh, but I'm not going to focus on not, if I don't hit this goal of getting down back down to 335 like I want to, I won't be disappointed because I did lose seven pounds and I might even hit double digits by Friday. So if you consider hitting double digits in one week, yeah, sure, I hit double digits in gaining, but now I'm going to hit double digits in losing and I didn't even have to, you know, starve myself or anything. I've been eating a lot better, so I'm pretty happy about that. Anyway, I'll see you at the weigh-in and uh, give you the results then. Have a good one.